Great photos are meant to be shared. That's why greeting cards featuring your own special photographs are such a great way to make things more personal. I'm Tracy Clark, professional photographer and mom, and today I'll share some tips to help you create the perfect photo card. With the right pictures, your greeting cards will leave a lasting impression. It's that personal touch that makes all the difference. These tips will help you take and select the perfect photo. I'll even show you how to make your own cards. It's important to start with a picture that's meaningful to you, that your recipient will enjoy, and that supports the overall spirit or theme of your card. So if you want to send a birthday theme card, choose a photo with bright colors or one that generates a feeling of excitement and celebration. You can use a photo of the birthday boy or birthday girl's favorite memory, or take a picture of a beautiful cake lit up with candles. To announce a new baby, everyone will want to see the latest picture of the little bundle. You could use a shot of the newborn sleeping peacefully, you know, for the 10 minutes a day where they actually sleep, or a shot of the baby wearing a cute hat or snuggling with a favorite blanket. And get the parents into the act as well. Nothing can warm a heart more than an adoring look of a family gazing upon their new little treasure. Mothers, fathers, grandparents love nothing more than pictures of their children on their special days. You know, such as Mother's Day, Father's Day, Grandparents' Day. If you have siblings, gather them up for a group portrait. Or find a picture that contrasts the young with the old, creating a poignant, multi-generational portrait. A fun shot of a beloved pet is a great way to go for your less serious cards, say, for an invitation to a party. And if you're known for your annual shindig, you might want to track down a photo from your last big party so guests can see how much fun they'll have. You see them all the time. Post portraits turned into holiday cards. Well, it's nice to see those friendly faces, but the cards that you really remember capture something real. Shots that capture a candid moment convey far more emotion than a stage shot. And this is extra important when you want to capture the sentimental spirit of the holidays. So if you want to send out a holiday greeting card that friends and family will want to hold on to, you have to give them emotion. With digital photography, you can take as many pictures as you want. Look for a great moment and get snapping. Now if you're talking holiday greeting cards, then you might want to take some kind of family portrait. If so, try doing a little wardrobe prep before you shoot. Clothes that work well together help put the focus on your family, not on what they're wearing. In addition to making the family feel together, dressing up for the photo shows that everyone in the picture cared enough to make it look perfect. Now that you have an idea of what you want to shoot for your greeting cards, let's dig deeper into the how. You know when you talk with someone and you're really into the conversation and you're making a lot of eye contact? A good portrait should feel just like that, a great conversation. I took this shot of my daughter at eye level, which makes it much more engaging than if I would have taken it from my perspective. There's just one more thing that would make this photo perfect for a card. To really pump up the impact of your greeting card, be sure your subject fills the frame. Even if you didn't originally fill the frame when you took the picture, you can use the photo editing tools later, like I did, to crop the image for better composition. Sometimes experimenting with black and white photography can add elegance and an instant feeling of nostalgia to your photos. Look what happened when I turned my color photo into black and white. It's a simple way to add a little beauty, drama, and timelessness to your photo cards. You have a few choices when it comes to turning your photographs into actual greeting cards. You can use an online photo service such as Snapfish and simply upload your photograph and order photo cards in bulk. It's a convenient way to go if you're sending out a lot of cards, like baby announcements. Another way to go is to make them yourself. It's a lot of fun and it makes your greeting cards even more personal. Making customized greeting cards is super convenient and there are lots of styles to choose from on HP's website. There are gorgeous greeting card templates for many different occasions and they're all free. Each allows you to upload photos and customize your text. Then just print the card and you're done. So there you go. Now you have what it takes to capture beautiful moments and share them through heartfelt greeting cards. It's a powerful way to share the joy with the people you love. I'm Tracy Clark and I'll see you next time.